Hi everybody, this is Mr. Claus, and this is a quick review on drawing ellipses, calculating their eccentricity, and calculating your percent error, or how far off your number was. Uh, this is important because the planets follow an elliptical orbit around the sun. So, when you're asked to draw an ellipse, you're going to be given something like this, where your two dots on the line represent where you're going to stick your two pins, those are going to be the foci or the focal points of your ellipse. You're going to then take your string, wrap it around the base of the pins, the actual metal part, and then you can stretch the string tight to draw your ellipse like this. Once you have done that, you can take your pins out. Uh, where the pins were, you're going to label those two areas F1, uh, the focal point 1 and focal point 2 of the ellipse, and F1 we usually represent as the sun. Uh, next thing we want to do is calculate the eccentricity of this ellipse, or how not round it is. Uh, if we had an eccentricity of 0, that would be something that's a perfect circle. If we had an eccentricity of 1, that would be a line. But we want to calculate that using this formula. It's also on the front of your ESRT. E equals D over L. E is going to be your eccentricity. D is your distance between the foci. So this, or foci, this would be your D. And then L is the length of the major axis, or the long way across. It's always going to be on the same line you had your two focal points. So L here would be this length of a major axis. So I'm going to take my ruler. And with that ruler, uh, I'm going to measure in centimeters my distance between the foci. Uh, to the nearest tenth, because that's what this ruler does, and I see this as 5.4. So I'm going to go D equals 5.4 centimeters, and L, the length of the major axis, I get as 15.1 centimeters. So my next step is to, first of all, my units are going to cancel. Centimeters and centimeters cancel. My eccentricity is a naked number that I always want to round to three decimal places. Uh, if I actually do the division here, I will get, let's see, 5.4 divided by 15.1. I'm going to round that to three decimal places and I would get 0 0.358. Okay. So eccentricity, E equals 0 0.358. The last thing I want to do is calculate how much of an error did I make or how wrong was I. So let's say, I'm going to leave my E equals 0 0.358. Um, here's my formula for percent error. My calculated value. That is this. That's the E that I calculated, the eccentricity that I calculated. Now let's say uh, scientific journals publish that accepted value, or what does science generally accept? Let's say the accepted value is, oh, I don't know, 0 0.326. So I want to see what percent off am I? How far off when I calculated 0.358? Am I off from the accepted value of 0.326? Here's my formula. Percent error equals calculated minus accepted value. You'll notice that that top part is in absolute value bars. So that number is always going to be positive. Divided by the accepted value times 100. So I'm going to do percent error equals my calculated value is 0. 3.58 minus the accepted value, 0 0.326. And again, 
that goes in absolute value bar. So that value is always going to be positive. No matter if I subtract one way and get a negative or not, we're going to make it positive. We're going to divide the whole thing by the accepted value, which we said was 0 0.326 times 100. So take out my calculator. I'm just clear here. I can do 0.358 divided by, or no, excuse me, 0.358 minus 0.326, and I will get 0 0.032. We're gonna divide that by the bottom number here, the 0 0.326, and we get 0 0.098, but again, we gotta do the times 100, so that's just gonna move the decimal point two places to the right, and I'm gonna get percent error equals 9.8%.